Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to the Discord Stories YouTube channel. Now, today is going to be a Wick bot tutorial. Now, Wick is honestly one of the best anti-nuke bots you can get for your server. Now, nuking slash raiding is when a load of people come to your server, they try and destroy it, uh, get control of it. Now, Wick has been, has been around for a while, however, they um, only recently actually released their dashboard for it. So, before it used to be only command-wise. Um, in the way you set it up and it used to be kind of annoying now they've got a really nice dashboard if you log in click dashboard when it loads you can either add it to your server or choose a server now i was debating on how i was going to do this so i was either going to go for a server which i already have set up or i was going to completely redo it now this is my server i've got a link in the description if you guys want to join i'm going to show you how to set it up on a brand new server which hasn't been done before um Real quick uh, thing to note is when you very first add a wick to your server, it will DM you with a, a little uh, rescue key. You want to keep that safe because if you ever lose access to your account, you'll be able to get ownership of wick back for your server. Um, the owner of wick basically logs in and transfers it to you. Now, I haven't set up wick at all. The only thing I've done is add one of my admins as an extra owner. It basically means that he'll have basically the same control over wick as I do. Um, if you don't then people may not have control um, now this is a little nifty little uh, dashboard it shows you everything here you basically can just put it in and manage everything from from the dashboard kind of and this task thing here tells you suggestions on which you need to do the red ones are you know kind of immediate a hundred percent suggestions that they want you to do etc etc blue ones are kind of not necessarily needed however i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of show you everything that i would personally set up so you could run the setup command and let it do it for you the first few things however i'm just gonna start setting up some things inside of wick so if you want to go to roles you want to set your mute role here that'll set it for a mute role so it knows what role to use Quarantine role, I haven't set up. When I do the setup command, I'll put that in here. Admin roles basically allows you to, allows the admin, sorry, to do uh, commands, basically. Anybody with admin permissions, I think, should be able to access them anyway, but um, I don't remember, honestly. Moderator roles, etc, etc. Now, main role will be the main role that someone gets in your server. Say they get a member role, that's where you'll put this. And then obviously make sure you save it. Now, if you open up each one of these, it will give you some tool tips and suggestions on what you know you should do, etc, etc. Um, just some hints on everything if you're a little bit stuck. This should be, honestly, the uh, simplest thing for you to do. Channels here, which will be your main, uh, don't know why it didn't let me, main logs channel for it, partnership channel, maybe you've got a partnership channel that, uh, you know, if you're sending par partnerships into, you want people to have your main channel, so be your main chatting channel, where mainly people are going to chat, a general channel or a chat channel, again, if you put tool tips, we show you, verification channel, now Wick does have a join gate slash verification system if you've got a channel set up for that this is where you'll set that up i personally am not going to enable that but if you do set that up later on i'll show you this is where you'll put the channel for that um now users will be as it says your extra owners and trusted admins now extra owners will be able to do almost everything that you can do it says here they treat the same as the owner meaning the person with the crown so me Again, add these to only people you absolutely trust because they can bypass everything a wick can do. So you don't really want to do this because if they one day want to raid, they'll have free will to do so because wick will never punish them. Same with trusted admins, only trusted admins are a little, little bit less powerful than owners. They can do most things, but there's a few that... Now, on a couple of them, there'll be member search here. Now, I'm not sure how they've set it up, but they don't pull the entire member list. So sometimes it, the members will appear here. Sometimes they won't. Obviously, he's not the only person who has admin, admin in my server. But he's the only one appearing. So what you would do is put in their name, hashtag four numbers, click add. 
and then it'll appear in the search bar if your members aren't appearing now in terms of whitelist this will basically be any members you want to whitelist so that if if you want them to be able to spam they will be they will be able to whip won't punish them for it if you want a certain role to be able to spam that'll go here um i'm just gonna put admin for now i don't really uh care too much admins if, if you have a specific spam channel set up this is where that will go and um, i just realized i can do it after that will go there if you want a certain category maybe you've got a staff category you don't really care if people are spamming there i'm gonna set those for my personal um setup here and i'll put logs so that you know um if you've got a certain webhook here which you don't want people you don't want wick to punish you'd put that here however webhooks are very dangerous so make sure you know what you're doing in terms of whitelisting this if some random person's made a webhook i wouldn't whitelist it because it can be very dangerous depending on the use of it these four are basically the same thing ping whitelist means if somebody's mass pinging users and roles however i've realized in another server that the new reply feature that this would have implemented where you can reply to a user and it pings them this affects that too so be very weary on how you do this um yeah i'm not gonna add general actually because then obviously they'll be able to spam you'll see for web hooks i'm just gonna add dino to everything because it doesn't really matter to me uh, because obviously dino is a trusted bot and you know it's not gonna um invite links if you don't want people to post invite links don't want list anything um again webhooks i'm just gonna do dino roles don't really care because admins won't do it anyway but if they do it's there so this basically Wix systems will give a quarant will give uh, people and staff quarantine if they do too many of certain actions, like deleting too many roles, too many channels, adding and creating too many roles and channels. Now, what this here does is, if somebody uh, specifically, say I get I won't because I'm the owner, but say I get quarantined and my admin were to remove it, they're not whitelisted or they're not an extra owner, etc., etc. They get quarantined themselves. So you want to set that up here. Maybe you want your... Yeah, that's not going to give him, but he's an extra owner anyway. So say uh, you want somebody to be able to remove quarantine roles of your staff uh, so it's easier. You'd put that here so that they don't get quarantined themselves. Basically, you'd put your head admins, your co-owners, stuff like that there. Again, you could just add them as extra owners. It's kind of up to your personal setup. This here will be, as it says, mention it out of one and main roles. So, in terms of category, the information read me is my news channels, etc., etc. So, I don't really mind if people add everyone there because that's where, if people add everyone, it's going to be there anyway. Same for admin, same for staff channels, same for rules. You don't really want to allow at everyone uh, for anything else. Because if you do, you're probably going to get fucked. I'm not going to lie to you. Hey, why be mean? Okay, I don't know why that's going away straight away. But it's annoying me. Okay, whatever. As you see, there are... Okay, saved anyway. There are a little bit of kind of bugs with Wick, but it shouldn't be fine. Now, miscellaneous here, as you see, your prefix, which if whichever your prefix is that you want it to be, that would go here. This here is very finicky. Now, reason I say that, so in the other server I've got Wix set up in, we have a prison channel, which is for muted and quarantine people. If you turn this on, you won't be able to set your muted role to see the channel, because Wix will automatically override that and disable it. So if you want to have a custom setup like that, then I wouldn't I wouldn't turn this on. 
However, if you don't really care and you're just going to leave it, then turn this on. Wick will always make sure that permissions are set properly. If somebody tries to fuck with them and change them, Wick will say, nope, 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 screw you. I'm going to fix it. That's cool. This out output, basically, any message Wick sends, it'll be compact. It won't be too messy or whatever. This will automatically delete Wix messages after they've been sent. It kind of just cleans up the uh, channels. Warn settings. This basically you can decide what happens after a certain amount of warns. So here, after five active warns, you want them to get muted, kicked or banned. Now I'm personally going to set this pretty high. I don't want a uh, server to be crazy, crazy moderated by Wic. Um, that's fine. This will just remove all their roles and give them mute role or whatever. When they get unmuted, the roles will give them back. Uh, this will be if you say you want to unquarantine somebody with W exclamation mark restore. Uh, this basically gives a confirmation option. It will say uh, confirm you want to do this by typing yes or no, and then it will do it. If you turn this off, it will just do it straight. So it's kind of up to you. This here is it. if you use uh, Wix ban command, this will purge seven days of messages of the user. Obviously, this can be customized. Up to you. This is for mute duration. This will ask about DMs. Now, I'm personally, uh, I'm personally not going to use Wix for moderation, but the options there if you need it. Um, I think that's all good. So your kind of last main things i'm gonna go over most of them but this will obviously enable or disable auto mod this is spam webhooks uh you see these options here are premium by the uh, diamond however this is a custom heat of the entire server you kind of going to need to read into the docs a bit more to understand what he is essentially he is um when a user performs a certain action, such as sending a message, an attachment, a ping, etc, etc, there's a certain amount of heat uh, assigned to each action. Now, once a user reaches 100% heat, there's going to be, Wick's going to take some sort of action, whether you've set it up as mute, kick, ban, whatnot. Once that user reaches the 100%, they're going to get action moderated, whichever it is. Um... This seems fine uh, to me. Again, you can kind of read over it a bit more. This will be the multiplying percentage, obviously. Remove feature again. Um, now, filters here, which you can basically customize everything specifically. So here, so 15% per message, 22% uh, per a similar message, i.e. just send in the same message, etc., etc malicious websites this will be 100 percent so this will instantly mute them depending on what it is new lines i personally like to turn on i turn that to one i don't like to mute people straight away so i give i give ones uh, personally this is basically this dodgy font in text basically uh is what that is emojis this is you know emoji spam uh okay i'm gonna leave that because you can't change it so this is 100 percent. so that means after one invite link they're going to get instantly um muted now in terms of this one you may want to go ahead and whitelist a channel maybe you've got a promo channel if you do turn on the invite link filter then you're going to want to whitelist your promo channel because people will get muted for that this is just any normal character and then obviously this is must mentioned so if everyone out here Yeah, so obviously this is uh, mass mentions. So if someone, uh, if someone at everyone at here, hundred percent uh, is going to be added. So meaning they're going to get instantly muted. This is a word blacklist. I have tested this. This does not currently work, so I haven't bothered touching with it. Um, I do sound like Dino personally. And then this is attachment, each attachment, blah blah. That seems fine. Uh, join gate is basically. If somebody, I don't turn this on personally. Somebody does, if somebody doesn't have an avatar, you can set that to just instantly mute them. This is premium, but if somebody adds 
a non-verified bot or just any bot that uh, from somebody who's not whitelisted they'll likely uh, they'll get affected you can obviously change the action here but it's premium so i don't have premium so you can't this is a suspicious account now wick has a system which will determine if an account is suspicious or not you can decide the action on which it takes if it is advertising names so if somebody's got discord.gg blah 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 in the name that will be there your main thing here is probably going to be account filter and no avatar so if somebody's account is too new or whatnot then it will be kicked banned warned uh, whatever you've got set up here i'm gonna set this to uh 30 days personally however i did turn it off i'll turn it on later on at a different time but that's that um verification basically it'll be a channel it will tell you to write in a load of letters etc etc be a little capture type thing and if you don't do it you'll get quarantined then it'll ask you to do it again then you'll get unquarantined if you you know get it right i'm personally not gonna get this on generally it's quarantined by default i would leave this on So you can set this to either verify every account or only account which Wick deems as being suspicious. I would leave it on all. Depends up to you. I'm not sure why I can't change these, but um, I'm assuming that these are either coming or it's a premium feature to change them. Wick captures, you know, more than enough, and obviously. Here is uh, two minutes. If they don't complete it within two minutes, it's whatever. Uh, you can obviously change this to a custom setting as per that. I have gone pretty fast. I think the only thing I haven't gone through is these two. <coughs> I would customly, uh, I would personally leave on Antinuke because this is what you're going to want to have. Um, this isn't out yet, but when it is out, I would 100% turn this on. Meaning that all public bots verified are whitelisted, which is good. Um, currently, you need to do it manually. I would 100% turn this on. And I would also leave all these things on. Good for any nuke. Now, this one trigger caps. This is going to be... Yeah. This is going to be this stuff. This is going to be... How many kick spans you want to have put between a minute and the hour uh any more than these numbers people will get quarantined you can customize these to your liking but i would leave them all on 100 i would not delete them if this is what you're gonna want you can customize these however you like to your to your way obviously lowering the number but at, at five it's fine at six they get quarantined same here it depends on your scenario i would put i would turn the bottom value down to about 10 8 something like that the top value to about two three or just put it on one if you if you don't want anybody to really be able to do much and get quarantined for it it will save your ass during raids but again it depends on your certain scenario and situation um anyway that's about it i think uh, in terms of that that's good this is a little log so if uh you know people have been doing shit like the name channels that'll be here this little question mark here will show you what's left to do i still need to run the setup command that will set up quarantine role for me so yeah in terms of that that should be good i do recommend reading the uh, doc as well but that's been it in terms of me showing you the dashboard. It is really intuitive. It is really, really easy to set things up compared to before. If you guys have enjoyed this, make sure you guys slap the video like right and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully that's made your server really secure. I'll catch you later.